Lavington will continue its three-month-long battle to remain in finals contention against the undefeated Albury tomorrow. The Panthers won just one from seven mid-season, but could find themselves back in the top five with an upset and favourable results. Aubrey's Fab Four and Co inflicted the Panthers' biggest loss in four years with an 88-point demolition. Recruits Chris Hyde, Joel Mackey, Sean Daly and Andy Carey were sensational. And from there, last season's grand finalist plummeted, losing six of seven games. After round 11, the Panthers were two wins out of the five, but successive wins have reignited their hopes. But a poor percentage means the clash at the Tigers' home could potentially make it a season-on-the-line game. From a mathematical point of view, you could probably say that, but we've sort of been that way for probably about six weeks now, considering our, our little run we had in the middle of the season. Aubrey's 13-match unbeaten run is the league's longest in years, and opposition teams are striving desperately to find a weakness, a slower midfield than some, and an inability to hammer fellow top sides, and rather just edge home, are some of the perceived problems. But the Paul Spargo-led Tigers could be just one win away against Yarrawonga in a fortnight from an undefeated home and away season. Ruckman Callan McClay returns from a strained medial ligament in his knee against Wodonga, while the Panthers' big man Luke Norton-Smith is also back. Lovington's Ruckman was one of a handful of players out during the losing streak, along with star players Luke Shilg and captain Cade Stevens. You get some really good quality players back through there, it just helps your rotations, but... Yeah, you sort of lack a bit of confidence when you're lacking good players. And the match will carry extra sting too after Lavington coach Tim Sanson's comments riled the Tigers after round five. Sanson spoke of the Tigers' resources, a veiled swipe at the club's recruiting blitz.